Hey guys, welcome back. And if you want to learn how to code Python without having to download any software, then stick around. Now I know that many of you are excited to start programming today, but we're going to take it slow. First, we're going to make an account on Replit. Now to get to Replit, you're going to have to type in repl .it in the address bar. Now we're going to go ahead and make a new account since this is going to be our first time we use Replit. In the future, you can always come back and just log in. Now when you're going to make a new account for GitHub, you can either use your existing Facebook, Google, or GitHub account. But if you don't want to use any of those services, you can make a new account as you can see here on the screen. Now my Replit account is attached to my Facebook account, so I want to log in that way. But like I said, you can go ahead and make a new account if you like. Now this is going to be the main screen once you log into your Replit account. Uh, the top, you're going to see the new Replits and then on the left and bottom, you're going to see the old ones that you've already done before. Okay, now to go ahead and set up the first Replit for Python, I'm going to click on new Replit and then we're going to type in Python because there are different versions of Python. So the one that we're going to select is going to be the first one that just says Python, not Python 0.27, the first one. When we select it, it's going to ask us what kind of name do we want to go ahead and put for the replit. Now you don't have to put anything for the GitHub unless you want to attach this exercise to it. And everything else is just the description and the name. And after you're done making the name for the replit, just go ahead and hit the create replit and I'll go ahead and create it for you. So for our first exercise, since we already got the replit set up and everything, we're going to go ahead and actually start using the first function in Python that I think is going to be one of the ones you're going to be using the most everywhere. It's called the print function and the print function basically allows you to print any text on the application. So whenever you saw in the past where it said name, age, uh, well, if you want to enter something, it, basically any text in the application that you see that has text is most unlikely going to be from the print function. So that's why we're using that function first or learning the function first, I mean. And one other thing that we're going to do later with a print function, we're actually going to start using the print function to ask the user uh, to have an input and then put that input into a variable. But like I said, that's going to be later on in the future when we get a little bit more experience. But for right now, we're going to do some exercises with the print function so that we can get it under our belt and then master it so we can go on to the next lesson. So before we get started and doing anything, we're going to go ahead and type this. Now, if you need to pause the video to do this exercise, then go ahead. But you can go ahead and type what I have here on the screen for you. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this line, but we're not going to erase it. We're actually just going to go ahead and put a comment line on it. And the way we do that is we just put a hashtag at the beginning of the line. The system is going to just ignore it when it runs and it'll just cut, run everything else. This is useful whenever you want to put a comment for somebody else to read or if you want to go ahead and put a line of comment so later on you can go back and, and take away that comment and run that code again. And now we're going to type in the next line that we typed right here. Now here's a really neat trick that you're going to be able to use later on. If you want to put two strings together, you can. All you have to do is after the first string, the first set of quotation marks, you just have to hit plus and then put add another string. And then when you print it out, it'll actually go ahead and print out both strings together because everything within the parentheses, if a string and you just put a uh, plus in the middle, it'll actually think it's one whole big string. And later on, we'll be seeing why or how we could use this when we want to put in other things such as variables. Now we're going to go ahead and type one more line of print before I show you one other thing here. And I'm just going to type here, Florida is really hot and then run it. And as you can see, it runs the code that I typed. Now, remember when I said earlier a few seconds ago that you could just edit out a line by putting a comment? Well, we're going to show how we can just take that comment away 
here and if we take it away you'll see the lines actually light up so if I were to run it right now it'll actually go ahead and print every single one of those lines now I'm gonna go ahead and comment out these three lines that we've typed so far so I can go ahead and show you another lesson and the print function now we can go ahead and use either double quotations or single quotations when using the print function there's two differences in each one and the way you use them. For example, in the double quotations, if we put a comma and John's friend and run it, it runs. Now, the second way that you can write this is if you want to use single quotations instead of double quotations. Now, there is a difference when using the single quotations because if you try to put an apostrophe S after John's friend, the system will actually think that you're ending the print function, or I'm sorry, the quotation there. So what we would actually have to do here is go ahead and do a backslash after John so that we can put that uh, apostrophe after John and then we can put the apostrophe S that way the system doesn't think that we're ending it at that point now you can also write numbers with a print function you can also subtract add and multiply and divide numbers with a print function as well and i'll actually print the answer on the right side on the console now if you're trying to add both a number and a string together without making the, the number an actual string, then it, will, it won't actually let you print out that, that print function because it'll, it'll think that the number is like a variable and it'll get confused. As you see here, like I said earlier, you can just multiply a print function times three and it'll actually print it three times. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you guys before we end the video. If you want to comment out more than one line inside the code, you can actually just use triple quotes. The system will actually ignore that when it runs. It'll still be there, but it won't run it. And as you can see right now, when I hit the run function, I'm sorry, the run button, it'll actually run, but there won't be nothing on the right side that, that actually appears. You can always just take away the three uh, triple quotes and then the code will be put back into the, uh, the application and then you can run it. So these are some useful tips on how to, what you can do if you want to print some stuff, if you don't want to get rid of it and compare it to something else. Now make sure that you don't forget to practice a print function on your free time as well. Now that'll be it for this video. If anybody would like to have a little bit more practice, if you leave down a comment in the comment section, I'll go ahead and make a, a second video on the print function. The thing that we're going to be doing next after this is probably going to go into variables. And variables are basically just things that you use in math that hold a value. And we'll talk about that in the next section. So thank you for watching and subscribe and hit that like button for more video. And if you didn't like the video, hit that thumbs down and leave a comment as to why you didn't like it. And thank you again for watching the video and have a great day.